if you've upgraded or are looking to upgrade your network to 2.5 gigabit and want an upgrade solution for your Sonagi NAS as well, then you'll want to consider using a USB 3.0 to 2.5 gigabit Ethernet adapter like this one from Ugreen. In this video, I'll go through the steps of setting up these Ugreen USB 2.5 gigabit Ethernet adapters on my DS224+. The NAS has two USB 3.0 ports, so I'll install a couple of these adapters to be able to set up either link aggregation or SMB multi-channel with 2.5 gigabit if I choose. We'll also need to install drivers through DSM to be able to use these USB Ethernet adapters. We'll get them from this GitHub project, which I'll link to in the description below. The drivers are for the Realtek RTL8150 chipset. So if you choose not to use the same Ugreen 2.5 gigabit Ethernet adapters that I'm using, just make sure the USB Ethernet adapter that you choose uses the Realtek chipset. Let's get started with a brief overview of my network setup. I have a TP-Link BE9300 router with 2.5 gigabit LAN ports. I'll connect my DS224 Plus using one of its built-in gigabit LAN ports to the TP-Link router. I'll also connect one of the Ugreen USB 2.5 gigabit Ethernet adapters to the USB port on the back of the DS224 Plus and connect it to the TP-Link router as well. Next, I'll need to determine what package architecture my DS224 Plus uses by referring to this Synology knowledge base article that displays the CPU type for each Synology NAS. You'll find a link to this page in the description below. For the DS224 Plus, I see the package architecture is Gemini Lake. So now I'll bring up the GitHub project I mentioned earlier to download the driver needed for the USB Ethernet adapter. I'll select the release page link, expand the assets section for the latest version available, search for Gemini Lake for DSM 7.2, and click on the link to download the SPK file to my computer. Next, I'll bring up DSM and enable SSH from the terminal and SNMP control panel. We'll need to run a couple of commands from an SSH session a little later in the video. I'll then bring up the package center to install the driver. I'll select manual install, choose the driver SPK file I downloaded earlier, and click agree on the warning window about installing third-party packages. Uncheck the run after installation checkbox and click done. On this first attempt, the installation will fail but it will install files on the NAS that will allow us to continue with the setup. Now I'll SSH into my DS224 Plus and run the command you see here. I'll also include the command in the video description. I'll then return to the package center, retry the installation, and this time the installation of the Realtek RTL8150 driver will complete successfully. At this point, I'll select the Realtek RTL 8150 package and click Run to start the driver. Now, if I bring up the network control panel and select Network Interface, we can see that I have a LAN 3, which is the Ugreen Ethernet adapter connected successfully to my TP-Link router at 2.5 gigabit. I also found that the 2.5 gigabit Ethernet adapter continued to work fine even after I rebooted the NAS. Next, if your NAS has a second USB 3.0 port and you'd like to install a second USB Ethernet adapter, you'll need to take one additional step. For my DS224 Plus, there is another USB 3.0 port on the front of the NAS, so I'll plug in a second Ugreen Ethernet adapter into that port and connect it to my TP-Link router. I'll SSH into my DS224 Plus once again and run this command, which I'll also include in the description below. Now I'll bring up the package center, 
stop, and then restart the Realtek RTL 8150 package. I'll then bring up the network control panel, and now we see the second 2.5 gigabit Ethernet adapter. I found that the second adapter was set with a static IP address, so I changed it to DHCP. Once the change was made, it received an IP address from the TP-Link router's DHCP server. At this point, I connected to DSM using the IP address of one of the 2.5 gigabit network interfaces. Then I disconnected the one gigabit network connection to free up a port on my TP-Link router. I also tried things like link aggregation and SMB multi-channel and was able to achieve 2.5 gigabit speeds with link aggregation and up to 5 gigabit with SMB multi-channel, which was amazing. If you're interested in setting up either of those, you can check out the videos listed here on screen. Lastly, if you'd like to support my work or hire me for a project, check out the links on screen or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.